I believe philosophical thinking, not algorithm, is what truly determines AI success. After three decades in technology, I have witnessed uh, countless uh, technology initiatives, AI initiatives, fail not because of bad code, okay, but because of muddled thinking about what the technology should actually accomplish. All right, so the days of uh, philosophy majors being asked, what will you do with that degree are over. Okay? Uh, we have entered an era when philosophical frameworks are the competitive edge in AI implementation and humanities graduates are uniquely equipped to lead. At MIT, philosophy and computer science are no longer separate domains, okay? Uh, the ethics of computing course, co-taught by philosopher Brad Sko and computer scientist Armando uh, Solar Lizama, demonstrate this new reality, okay? One student in the, in the class of seniors studying electrical engineering is applying utilitarian philosophy to explore the ethical dimensions of autonomous vehicles. This isn't an isolated case. Uh, as David Kyron and Michael Trudd brilliantly put it, philosophy eats AI. Uh, let me explain why this matters for both businesses implementing AI and for you, the philosophy, literature, and history major, wondering your, about your place in this technological revolution. Right? The most innovative companies have stopped treating AI as just another technical capability. Okay? Instead, they are uh, engaging with this uh, philosophical construct that forces fundamental questions about purpose, meaning, and value. Consider, consider Google Gemini's embarrassing launch problems, right? Their, their AI generated historically inaccurate images showing diverse founding fathers and Nazi soldiers, right? This isn't a technical failure. It, it, it was what, you know, Karen calls a teleological confusion. The system had competing purposes, historical accuracy versus uh, diversity representation. And without philosophical clarity about which purpose should govern govern which context, the AI produced you know absurd results. The truth, of, the, 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 I mean, look here's the truth nobody talks about. Uh, these framework determine whether your AI uh, delivers actual business value or just impressive demos. When Amazon reconceptualized customer loyalty, not just as a repeat purchases, right, but as advocacy and defense, it wasn't a technical insight, philosophical shift in how they categorized and measured customer relationships. Now, if you're a humanities student watching this, you might be thinking, hey, that's interesting uh, for business leaders, but what does it mean for, for my career, right? Everything, my friend, everything. Your training in analytical thinking, philosophical thinking in humanities isn't just relevant, it's essential at three critical stages of AI implementation. First, right, in, in problem definition, right, before a single line of code is written, someone needs to ask, what is the actual problem we are solving? What does success look like, right? How do we measure it? These aren't technical questions. They are philosophical ones about purpose, meaning, and values. Second, in implementation, AI systems encode assumptions about reality, right? What Michael calls ontology, how, how we label and categorize things. Your training and conceptual analysis helps identify hidden assumptions before they become embedded in systems. This Space between you know a machine capabilities and human meaning is where philosophical training creates extraordinary value. The critical thinking skills you have developed analyzing Kant or Aristotle translate directly to examining the assumptions built in AI systems. And third, in, in evaluation, the question isn't just right. Did the AI platform uh, did the AI perform its task? But did it create the intended value? Did it respect the appropriate boundaries? Did it align with a broader purpose? 
these are questions about ethics, epistemology, and teleology, the domains, uh, the core domains of philosophical thinking. And I'm, now, look, I'm not suggesting. Uh, you can walk into a tech company with you just your philosophy degree and transform their AI strategy tomorrow, right? The path forward requires com complementing your analytical foundation with some technical literacy. Here's my practical advice for humanities graduates looking to thrive in the AI revolution, okay? First, develop a working knowledge of AI fundamentals. I'm not talking about coding. I'm not just... AI fundamentals. You don't need to become a deep learning expert, okay? But understanding how machine learning works, what large language models can do and can't do, and basic data concepts will allow you to apply your, uh, you know, your training effectively. Second, learn to communicate philosophical insights in business languages, right? Reframing ontological questions. How are we categorizing customer types? or epistemological questions, right? As what sources of knowledge are we privileging in this model? Makes your value immediately apparent. Third, position yourself at the human AI boundary. AI roles in ethics, product management for AI tools, UX research for AI interfaces, and AI training data, uh, uh, data curation are all areas where philosophical thinking directly translates to business value, right? A literature major I mentored last year joined a content generation platform focusing on AI-human collaboration, okay? And her understanding of, of narrative structure and audience expectations proved invaluable in designing AI tools that actually enhanced human creativity rather than attempting to replace it, okay? The future doesn't belong to those who can write the most sophisticated algorithm, okay? It belongs to those who can think most clearly about what those algorithms should accomplish and why. As business leaders increasingly recognize that philosophy eats AI, they are searching for people, uh, for people who can help, you know, with, with the uh, in analytical frameworks within their organizations, identifying purposes, uh, categories of knowledge and what learning actually means in their context, right? Your training and asking fundamental questions about knowledge, reality, meaning, and value isn't just academically interesting, okay? It's economically valuable. <laughs> the jobless philosophy major has become an outdated stereotype, okay? Today's reality is that humanities graduate are, are commanding premium positions in technology because they are bringing what, what machines cannot, wisdom. All right, this is an expectation, right? I, I witnessed uh, a manufacturing operations reduce downtime costs by millions because, you know, uh, humanities graduate health technologists understand what optimal operation actually meant in their specific context, right? I've seen product teams transform user experience because someone asked the fundamental question, what are we actually trying to help accomplish? The extraordinary opportunities emerging at the intersection of philosophy and technology aren't reserved for others, okay? They're waiting for minds like yours. Hey, if you like this, this conversation, subscribe. I have plenty of tutorials here on YouTube that you can watch uh, for AI literacy and learn the, learn the language of technology.